Hello and welcome to the pre-game um, report from Northland versus Waikato. Both teams are out there on the pitch um, doing their warm-ups right now. Uh, obviously Waikato top of the championship, Northland who are in fourth. Uh, if they just get a point from this game that will secure them finals footy. But if they get a win then Northland still are in with a shout of home um, uh, semi-finals um, as, as well. So. Waikato uh, still could drop out of that top two for home, home semi-finals. They do need the result as well, so it all is on the line. Get a quick pan round here of the uh, um, of, of, of the press room. That's right. Um, it's kind of empty. I'm the only one here. Fantastic. Um, so uh, yeah, we'll see how it all pans out. But obviously, Northland a lot of go forward being come through Benny Ranger, who's playing really well um, so far this season. So look at them uh, trying to hit that 13 channel. Um, when you've got a side that uh, in Waikato where their prop is, oh sorry not the prop, their hooker uh, is the top scorer in the team and is up in the uh, up towards the top of the scoring charts for the competition, yep those line out malls are going to come in handy. So Northland have got to keep their discipline, not allow this Waikato side to kick to the corner because they do, um, That's they are dangerous from there. Um, also, Severisi uh, who is, uh, has, is, is also up towards the top end of those try scoring charts. Um, so not only do Waikato have threats from their line out and their forwards, but also out wide from their backs as well. So look, at, look out for both of those kind of areas um, from, uh, from Waikato. Uh, say from Northland, uh, a team I've obviously not seen as much of as I'm based in Hamilton. Uh, but um, I say, Rainy Ranger um, going very well. Debrasini running things well from 10. Sure, uh, at Super Rugby level, um, he wasn't uh, cutting it really for the Rebels, but um, at this level, um, he's showing he has got um, all the skills that he needs. So uh, expect him to run things from there. Uh, we'll be looking at the big game from Sweeney on the other side of things, uh, who's the experienced head in that back line for um, Waikato to, uh, to pull the strings and steady the nerves if there are any up here. It is a hot day. If this game is played at pace, then the sides are going to get tired in the second half. Um, so yeah, I'm down to just a t-shirt. Uh, normally I'm wearing about three or four layers. So clearly, yeah, it is a warm day today. So expect, as I say, expect that last 20 to hurt, um, especially amongst the forwards. So expect some space in the, late in the second half um, in this game. Uh, and do enjoy the rugby. I'll be back at uh, half-time, obviously, for your half-time reports and uh, full-time, full-time report. And I'm hoping to get a couple of interviews post-game as well. Half-time report here from uh, Toll Stadium up in uh, Fongaray. We have uh, a lead, a big lead for Waikato. It's 7.38, so six tries to Waikato to one from Northland. So Waikato already have the try bonus point uh, all wrapped up. Um, it was quick, I mean, uh, early doors, Waikato very good with the uh, high ball, both kicking it and also receiving it. Uh, and from um, one of those, uh, they claimed a, a, a good kick, uh, um, attacked back and went in, in the left-hand corner. The left-hand corner has seen quite a bit of action um, from the uh, uh, fr fr from uh, from Waikato, um, but it was uh, Northland who struck back first. Uh, next, sorry, um, Ranger uh, missed pass. Good break down the left-hand side. He kept uh, himself available in support, um, collected the ball, inside ball back, and then ran un uh, over um, the line, so relatively near um, the posts to allow Debrasini to put over the extras. And it was 7-5 at that point, um, and looking like a cracking game. But after that, really, uh, it was Waikato all the way. Quick tap and go um, was uh, by, by Reese put um, uh, a player over again on the left hand side. We had another score. Um, then we had Fletcher Smith uh, after a period of dominance in 22, making a break, going over and then converting it himself. That took it to 724. Lovely inside ball. And we then had a couple of times where players, Northern's um, tackling, first up tackling really was. Uh, up to, wasn't up to scratch um, and whilst it was a lovely inside ball and the player broke the first line he still had two players to beat um, and uh, really should have been tackled before he went over uh, but he went over under the, under the under the sticks Tucker again off the back uh, after two phases after a scrum um, hits a player goes through him uh, and then just flops over the line it was only five metres out so you've got to say that so uh, yeah Northland um, their tackling really hasn't been up to it uh, has, has allowed a couple of tries by, uh, by Waikato um, but uh, Waikato's offloading 
uh, and that ability to, to break, that, break the tackle really has helped them in this game. Northland haven't helped themselves. They had a five metre line out, overthrew it uh, and lost the ball, um, which allowed uh, Waikato to clear out their own 22 and get down into the opposition half uh, with a lovely kick. And, uh, um, and so I say, yeah, Northland haven't taken the few opportunities that they have had, but Waikato have had more. They've taken most opportunities, not all of them. They could have scored more points. Uh, to be honest, they, they've also messed up um, uh, some attacks and lineouts, but they've been able to, most of the things when they've been able to try, they've managed to get themselves uh, under advantage. Um, so they can actually try those things and come back when they don't when they don't come off. So at half time, it's 7:38, rather comfortable for Waikato. Um, you've got to say uh, it was, uh, with the, with the try bonus point already wrapped up. Uh, this uh, you can't see that Northern are going to get much out of this game, uh, but apart from some saving themselves some pride in this second half. Full time report from uh, Northland versus Waikato. The score finished 71. Uh, sorry, 28-71. Uh, uh, so Northland got the try bonus point in the end, um, but um, Waikato clearly uh, came out on top and got their five try bonus point. So that means that Northland are through to the finals now, but not they can't say uh, unlike to get a home semi home semi final. Waikato uh, doing the best to get themselves into that home semi final. Um, Northland clearly played a bit better in the second half, got three tries, uh, but uh, yeah they gave themselves way too much after that first half um, where. Um, where sort of Waikato ran away with it. Uh, the players going past, um, I've been told I've got a shoulder tap, tap, tap them. Um, so I'm going to try and uh, see if I can grab um, someone for a quick chat uh, post game. So uh, um, hopefully uh, we'll have some interviews. Cheers. So here I am with uh, Roger Randall, and as you can see, he's a bit taller than me, as we can see by the. Uh, the <laughs> so, I'm tip -toes. Um, so, yeah, 71 points. Must be uh, very happy with the, the scoreline and picking up the try bonus point before half time. Yeah, and 11 tries, so you pretty happy with that but still feel like we've left some some points out there and pretty disappointed at the end to let them get in with a couple of tries um yeah it's just pretty pretty warm conditions and there's a bloody good Tanifa team so to come up here and play like that up here at their home was um was reasonably pre pleasing yeah yeah i mean obviously we've got the, the this first try in a couple of minutes then really ranger sort of pulled things back and it looked like it was gonna be a right contest in that first after that first 10 minutes yeah, it was a funny old game, you know, we were pretty fortunate to get some things go away, I guess, early doors and gave us a little bit of confidence and kind of just grew from there, so we've got a pretty young group, but um, they got great attitudes and they work hard for each other. And lost Sweeney um, early before kickoff, uh, I think? Yeah, yeah, so Sweeney's um, just a little bit tight, could have played, but um, yeah, we just wanted to you know, look after him and probably back to depth of our squad, you know. Um, as a collective, you know, there's not one one player that that determines our team. It's a collective. So, um, although he's a big part of our our, our team and our performance, our swings, um, we back everybody that can play. No, absolutely. And uh, the most on, on Radio Sport, they obviously they didn't get the the lineup. Um, that the player in the 23 jersey who came on also was a late placement on the bench. He he had a cracker of the game when he came on in the second half. Yeah, we had um, yeah, we had uh, Padafilo, Pipasana, and we also had um, uh, Moisesi Dawai as well. So, yeah, yeah, two guys who, yeah, as you say, showing the full depth uh, even off the bench there. Um, you say got a bit, got a bit hot towards the end there. Picked up a yellow card as well. Um, so it's going to be a, a, a big rest before the last uh, last pool game. Uh, much rest? Anything else? Um, no, it was a massive game next week. Got Otago, and they've been going good guns. So uh, she's uh, yeah, they're pretty. Got a pretty good back three, back four, back five there. So um, they like to play with a lot of width, um, and they got a really strong forward pack. So that's going to be um, a humdinger. It is. So they obviously turned over Auckland the other day. McFadders had a big, big game. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I used to say we've got to got to go to the stage of. Um, well, he also has played plenty. Yeah, he also got some some intercepts yeah. as well. So yeah. he's, he's he's in form. But I say at this stage of the season, is it about just trying to recuperate and get fit, or or you still manage to get some work from the boys during the week? Uh, yes, yeah, more just getting for your detail. Um, the pleasing thing with a lot of our bench come on and and the structure stayed, you know, roughly there there thereabouts. So um, we made the seven or eight changes by the end, and and we didn't blow out too much in terms of our structure. We still played some decent football, so. Uh, that was pleasing for our um, our bench to do that. Great, thanks very much for your time, and uh, good luck in the uh, Otago Shield game next weekend. Awesome, cheers, mate. Cheers, mate.